KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 27th of February. I'm James Spann. A cool, dry air mass in place today. Nothing but sunshine. Showers return early next week. Maybe some strong storms by the middle of next week. There's the upper look this morning. We have a trough over the eastern states. That brought the cold air yesterday and a few snow flurries. As expected last night, no impact, and those are gone this morning. Temperatures are in the upper 20s and low 30s over the northern quarter of the state. Haleyville, 29. Coleman, 30. Birmingham at 35. We'll expect a high around 50 in most spots today. There's the watch warning map. We've got some winter weather issues up in the northeast United States, but things are quiet down here. No severe weather, no thunder for the United States today. However, on day six, which is Tuesday, we've got a risk of severe storms defined west of the state. Mississippi, parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, and eastern Texas. And for now, the SPC folks have not extended this into Alabama for Wednesday, but it's something to watch. We'll talk about the setup here in a minute. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals north of the state. Parts of Tennessee and Kentucky... In Alabama, the heavier totals for the Tennessee Valley amounts there between two and three inches. For Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, one to two inches and under one inch for the southern part of the state. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, three o'clock this afternoon, troughing over the east. And for us, nothing but sunshine today. But temperatures way below average. We should be in the 60s. The high today, only around 50. Tomorrow... The day will be mostly dry. We'll expect a high in the middle 50s. We'll call it partly sunny. And a clipper comes down the pike tomorrow evening, and that could squeeze out a few light rain showers tomorrow evening. This is uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow, 8 p.m. The uh, high-res NAM showing a few scattered showers. We'll mention that in the forecast. Again, a decent chunk of the day dry before that arrives. And this is after midnight tomorrow night. This is 2 a.m. Saturday. And again, at that point, the air could be cold enough for snow flurries or snow showers over the northeastern corner of the state. And by that, we're mainly talking Jackson and DeKalb County, Scottsboro, Fort Payne, places like that. Don't expect any impact. And then Saturday should be a dry day. The sky will be sunny, the high in the upper 50s. Sunday, beautiful day, sunny with Upper 60s likely. That'll feel pretty good. Then Monday of next week, moisture begins to increase. We'll mention a chance of scattered showers, nothing too widespread. Better chance of showers over the northern third of the state. The high will be well up in the 60s, maybe close to 70. And then Tuesday, heavier rains north of the state, close to a warm front. But for us, it should be very mild. A good chance we'll see highs over 70. And again, the chance of a few scattered rain showers. Now, this is Wednesday of next week. The uh, latest GFS depicting a surface low north of Knoxville, Tennessee, with uh, rain and storms. This is the European solution. It's got the surface low over Ohio with a batch of rain and storms coming in here. But it's simply too early to know if we have a major severe weather problem. Strong storms, certainly a possibility here. But the timing... The instability, all these things we often talk about, kind of up in the air. If this comes through early Wednesday morning, that would kind of mitigate the issue. But if it's later in the day where the instability values would be higher, that might suggest a higher risk of severe storms. So we'll keep an eye on that. But certainly looks like a significant rain event. And then a week from today, Thursday, March 5th, troughing over the northeast, and we're in a dry air mass. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday, March 7th. Got a northwest flow aloft, and again, that looks dry. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble for the next 15 days. The mean between one and a half and two inches. And really, that's not that much for March. March is a very wet month here, typically. And after this cool snap, 
Temperatures look pretty good. You can see those low 70s in here on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But the latest 8 to 14 day outlook from the CPC, this is for March 5th through the 11th, suggesting temperatures could be a little below average here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.